Hello all, in this video we will see how to drive a big stepper motor using DM542 or DM556 stepper driver. DM542 is digital stepper driver. In this video we have got a big stepper motor 57 hs 3504 which is bipolar hybrid two phase stepper motor with four wires. This NEMO 23 type of holding torque 18.9 kg centimeter. DM542 is digital stepper driver whereas TB6600 is analog stepper driver. This stepper driver DM542 has got uh, signal pins which supports 5 volt to 24 volt level. So it can be easily connected with any PLCs in industrial environment. But TB6600 supports only 5 volt TTL logic and it is also not much efficient. But supply voltage is 9 volt to 42 volt whereas 542 requires above 20 volt supply the signals are pulse signal control signal inputs are pulse signal direction signal and then enable signal all are op uh, op optically isolated differential signal inputs and there is a switch setting for uh, current setting so according to these switches uh, sw1 2 and 3 you can set the current and there is also other switches for uh, setting subdivision accuracy. The first three switches setting is for uh, working current settings SW1, 2, 3. That is switch in upper position means it is uh, off and down means it is on. And SW4 is kept always off. It is for uh, quiescent current setting which is set to half of the working current. Always set it to off otherwise uh, it will generate some heat and SW4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 are for uh, subdivision accuracy it is for uh, pulse per rotation suppose you set it at off, off and on, on it will be 1600 pulse per revolution and uh, supply is given at this ground and positive uh, plus V point power source of 20 volt to 50 volt is required about 20 volt is required it will not operate in 12 volt and this bipolar stepper motor has got four wires of two phases these two phases are connected to this a plus a minus and b plus b minus the green pbt connectors are uh, pluggable type so you can easily remove this now let us open the dm542 uh, driver and see inside let us open the screws and have a look inside it has got a good uh, green PCB and the signals that is the signal pins are all optically isolated differential signal inputs are optically isolated using PC817 optocoupler as well as 6135 optocoupler as it is a digital stepper it has got a 32 bit ARM microcontroller and a regulator on board and the dip switches uh, there is 8 way dip switches sold now let us see at the to the back side of the PCB. Let us remove this screw also. At the back side of the PCB, you can see eight MOSFETs. These are all high power MOSFETs. This is uh, set up in a H bridge mode, so it can easily drive four wire or six wire uh, steppers. The numbers are uh, erased, but it is uh, high power MOSFETs. Now let us fix back the. PCB at the top you can see two LEDs one is green LED which is power LED and the bottom is the red LED which is fault indicator so if uh, any fault like uh, over voltage or over current this red LED will flash now let us see how to find out the face of the stepper motor as this is bipolar stepper motor it has got four wires we have to separate out the face we will use a multimeter to see the continuity you check the continuity between any two wires if uh, the continuity is there then it is of same phase mm -hmm. if there is no continuity it is of other phase so separate out the wires of same phase which has got low ohms or continuity is there there is also another method to find out the phase without multimeter if you do not have a multimeter you can use this method you connect uh, you just try to rotate the uh, stepper initially it will be freely uh, you will be able to rotate it freely you connect any two wires 
and then try to rotate it if it rotates freely then the wires are of different phases now let us connect it with another wire that is uh, red and blue which is of same phase now if you, if you try to rotate the uh, stepper it will offer resistance it will be difficult to rotate then it means the wires are of same phase like this uh, in this method you can separate out the wires of uh, the stepper motors a plus a minus of one phase and b plus b minus of other phase now let us see the connections uh, to the dm542 pul is pulse that is for uh, step and uh, dir is for direction we will be using it in common cathode no uh, node that is both the minus are connected to common you can also use it in common anode also in this uh, video we will be using common cathode so pul minus and dir minus are looped out and uh, it is connected to a ground of the arduino enable pins are not connected and switch settings sw1 2 and 3 uh, these three switches are put in off condition so if you check up the table uh, all three switches are off means it is in the maximum current that is 4.2 amps and sw4 we have kept in for off, off position that means quiescent current is uh, off of the uh, working current and uh, the last four switches 5, 6, 7, 8 are set to off, off, on, on that means 1600 pulse per revolution step angle of our stepper is 1.8 degrees so in 360 degrees we have set 1600 pulse and for power source we use 24 volt 10 amps always use a higher rating power source as the current maximum setting is 4.2 we are using almost double that is 24 volt 10 amps this dm542 does not support 12 volt it requires above 20 volt and these ppt connectors are easily removable so you can plug out the ppt connectors do the wire connection and then easily plug in take care of the plus and the minus polarity do not reverse it now let us connect the a plus a minus polarity uh, that is phase wires and b plus b minus phase wires do not reverse uh, do not interchange the phases same phase can be connected between a plus a minus there is no polarity in this but uh, same phase to be connected to same uh, points a plus a minus b plus b minus for uh, signal pins we'll be connecting uh, step that is the pulse pin is connected to d6 of Arduino and the direction pin is connected to d9 of Arduino and uh, minus that is a common is connected to ground we are not using enable pins enable pins are left floating now let us see the Arduino code first we define the direction pin as 9 and step pin as 6 and in the void setup we make the both these pins as output and for direction we make the uh, direction pin as high that is for clockwise direction and uh, inside void loop we make the step pin high and then we use the delay notice the usage of microseconds delay microseconds 500 and then we make the step pin as low so according to the pulse to the step pin the uh, motor will rotate select the board as Arduino and the, select the port and then upload the code now you can see the clockwise rotation of the stepper motor to make this rotate counterclockwise we make the direction uh, pin low so digital right direction pin as low and then upload the code now the motor will rotate anti-clockwise that is counterclockwise ccw next to uh, make the rotation slower we make the delay higher that is a delay microsecond let us make it as uh, 3500 more delay we will make the motor slower delay microseconds 3500 upload the code now you can see the stepper motor rotating in uh, slow motion like this you can control using this uh, Arduino code simple Arduino code next we'll see how to use uh, stepper library uh, for uh, easy operation 
go to Arduino library manager and add Axel stepper library search for Axel stepper library and install the latest version through library manager once the library is installed under uh, uh, code examples you can see the uh, sample codes go to examples Axel stepper and select the bones sample code let us modify the bones sample code so inside this code uh, they've included the axel stepper dot h header file next we create uh, an object stepper with the parameters for this you have to define the uh, pins there is a direction pin step pin direction pin uh, let us make it 8 and then uh, we define the step pin as uh, 6 and uh, we have to set the mode of operation that uh, we call it as interface it should be 1 there is as per the library the mode of operation should be 1 using this uh, parameters let us create the object stepper axle stepper object uh, stepper with all these three parameters first parameter for this uh, stepper object is one which is uh, interface and the next parameter is uh, step pin that is a pulse pin and the third parameter is direction pin using these three parameters we create the object and initiate the ob object and inside void setup we use the functions uh, set max speed function to set the uh, speed of rotation let us make it 1000 and then the set acceleration and finally the move to function let us uh, uh, use it use this move to function inside the wide loop so inside a wide loop uh, we'll be using this uh, uh, stepper dot move to and then we will be using the parameter 8000 as we have set the pulse per rotation uh, as per the switches we have set the mm -hmm. pulse per rotation to 1600 so if we pause on 8000 parameter it means 1600 into 5 8000 so 5 rotations of the stepper and then we use the run to position uh, that is a run to position to run to the target at uh, set uh, speed and acceleration so this function of the library can be easily used and the motor stepper motor can, uh, can be controlled easily finally we use the delay and the stepper dot move to zero for home position now upload the code and uh, see the operation of the stepper it rotates five times one two three four and then five so five rotations that is 1600 to 5 8000 as as we have passed on parameter 8000 it rotates five times now let us change the code that is a uh, uh, instead of 8000 let us make it 1600 that means one rotation as we have set 1600 pulse per revol revolution in the as per the switches we make it 1600 and upload the code now you can see the stepper is rotating only one uh, rotation like this you can use the axle stepper motor library to control the stepper using dm842 easily thank you for watching